Hey everyone, it's time for one of my favorite videos that I do every single month where I talk about some of the amazing books that are coming out. This is going to be January 2020. So many titles. Cannot wait to get started. Let's begin. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Russell with Ink and Paper Blog. How are you doing today? I hope you guys are doing very, very well. I hope you are ex as, as excited as I am about all of the books coming out in 2020. I think it's going to be an amazing, amazing reading year. But first, let's take a moment and appreciate my very cute new Powell's t-shirt. When I was in Oregon, I was able to sneak away a day to go shopping at Powell's with my brother Francisco. We went up, we shopped, we ate some lunch and came back. Portland's about two hours from where my parents live, so it was a really nice day with my brother, and I really, really loved it, and I loved this shirt. Had to get it right away. Now, if you guys noticed, this is coming a little bit late in the month, so we are going to be talking about some books that have already come out. If you have been watching my videos, you know why that is, um, so I'm trying to catch up, but there are so many books here that I am going to have to do this in two parts. So today we're going to talk about books that have already come out in 2020, and also books that are coming out today, Tuesday, January 14th. And then another video will come out where I'll cover the rest of the month for you. So as always, get out your pen, get out your paper, get out your Goodreads, get out however you take care of your TBR, because some of these books are going to wind up on it, I promise. And as always, if you can order these from your local independent bookstore, Powell's is always a good choice. Or if you are a library reader, go ahead and get them ordered through there so that you guys can get your hands on these as soon as possible. So let's get started. Now, this book was technically billed as a January release, but I believe it came out December 31st, 2019. And that is Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. Now, I absolutely love this book. I have read this book, and I loved this book so very, very much. Um, this is the story of a young Black woman who works as a babysitter for a wealthy white couple in, I think, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, one night, she gets a phone call uh, from, the, the, from the mother saying that something has occurred, and she's asked to come from where she's at to pick up their young daughter and take her away while they deal with this instance. When she has the dot, she takes this young girl to a grocery store and they are hanging out there and she is accused by a local sort of security guard of possibly stealing the child. And sort of this event occurs regarding that in the store. Um, a gentleman does get it on video and this book is really the repercussions of that instance. It talks about her relationship with her employers. It also talks about how she reacts to the situation herself and how she wants to deal with what happens. She also develops a relationship with the gentleman that um, shot the video um, and his sort of desire to use the video to make a statement in and of itself as well. There is a lot to unpack in this book. She, this book deals with class. It deals with race. It deals with, um, there's a, it's a very interesting topic about young people who graduate college with nowhere really to go. How do you sort of make that next step into the real world? Where do you find the job that you can survive on in the current world in which we live? It deals with so many topics so well. And I think that for me, it really was the main character. And let me get her name for you. I, um, I always, Amira, Amira. Um, I always struggle with names to remember. You guys know that. Um, it was her development as a person as she sort of went through this instant, this experience, how she wanted to deal with it and how things kept happening around her that sort of developed for her a new sense of herself. I really, really enjoyed this book. And so this is Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. This is out from Putnam. You guys can get your hands on it. It is beautiful. And if you are in the Oakland area, please come to a great good bookstore um, uh, on Thursday of this week and uh, see me and we can talk about it. So there you go. 
The next books came out on January 7th. The first one I'm actually about halfway through. I don't know. How far am I? I'm about halfway through. And that is The Enlightenment of the Green Gauge Tree by Shukef Azar. This is out from Europa Editions, and this is translated from the Persian. Interesting enough, um, as an aside, one, this was shortlisted for the Stella Prize in Australia. Um, Shukef uh, Azar is a, um, she moved as a political refugee in 2011 to Australia. Now, this is interesting. It says the translator's name has been, has not been included here for reasons of safety and at the translator's request. So I cannot give the translator credit other than I think that speaks volumes in a lot of ways. This book takes place in Iran right off, right after the Islamic revolution. It is about a family that has fled the city of Tehran, Tehran in order to sort of escape what has been going on. It is told and narrated by their young daughter who has been killed earlier on prior to the start of the novel and it is her ghost that is narrating um, this experience. This is really a book about that family. It also does a lot of diverging into sort of the political system of Iran at the time that this was all going on and thereafter. It has a lot of sort of a magical realism, fable-esque quality to it. I'm really enjoying the writing and the story. Um, the main character is very, very interesting, fascinating to see her perspective from the point of view of a ghost, but almost has a sense of reality and as if she's still involved in the family in a really conscious way. Um, I'm really, really enjoying it. I have not read a ton of Iranian literature and um, I'm super, super into this one. So that's The Enlightenment of the Green Gauge Tree by Shokifa Azar, um, translated from the Persian. And this is out from Europa Editions and it is out now. And let's just take a moment. That cover is gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, the next two books that I have for two, uh, January 7th are actually two um, middle grade reading books. The first one I got at Book Expo America, and that's Jinxed by Amy McCulloch. And this is out from, I want to say, Source Books. Source Books, you're right. Um, Jinxed is a sort of sci fi futuristic tale about a young girl who wants to go to school to work as an engineer on these beings. They're, let me see what they're called here. Um, she wants to work for Mancho, which makes the Baku, which is a customizable pet with all of the um, functions of a smartphone. However, she is not accepted, but one day she finds a one of these pets that is broken and she fixes it and she realizes that it is different. It is more advanced, more real than any of the other pets that are on uh, out there in the world. Um, she uses it in a, a hope and it helps her get back into the school that she has wanted to. And then of course, there is going to be a mystery. There's going to be an adventure. And I think it looks, sounds super duper fun. So that is Jinxed by Amy McCulloch. This is out from source books and you can get your hands on it right now. Okay, next was a book that was sent by my friend Matthew Sharapa, who you guys know I absolutely adore. And this is from the Yellow Jacket um, brand from, uh, sorry, imprint at Little Bee. And this is a middle grade, uh, grade book called Jelly by Joe Cottrell. I'm going to hold that up there because I'm not sure I'm spelling, saying her last name right. But this is fun. This is the story of Angelica. She uh, goes by the name Jelly. She is a young woman dealing with weight issues and she is known for her outgoing personality. She is often teased for her weight and she sort of makes jokes in regard, sort of self-deprecating jokes regarding that. But do, um, so everybody thinks she's kind of, kind of cool with everything that's going on. But internally, is she really, really cool? And then her mother brings home, uh, has a new boyfriend who she creates a relationship with where she shares her poetry. And he starts to really realize that there may be more beneath the surface of Jelly than uh, most people know. And he encourages her to share one of her poems at a local talent show. And in doing so, she will have to sort of open up who she is and what she really feels about the situation and how she is treated. Um, I think this book is going to make me bawl my eyes out. So <laughs> that is Jelly by Joe Cottrell. And this is out from Yellow Jacket, um, Little uh, Little be books imprint and thank you to uh, my friend Matthew Sarapa for sending me this copy I'm super excited okay so those books all of this little stack here all of these are out right now you can get your hands on them now now we're gonna talk about the ones that came out today 
January 14th. The first one is coming out from Doubleday, and that is Zed. I'm going to hold that up for you. This is by Joanna Ka Kava Kavina, Kavina. Struggle there for a minute with that name. And I'm going to read this one to you because this is a little bit more complicated. A mega corporation beetle and its infallible predictive algorithm have already guided society to be the best, most blissful, and productive version of itself. Now, about those minor glitches you have heard about. Lionel Bigham is dead, murdered by a robot. G Guy Mathis, Beatles philandering founder and CEO, insists it was human error, but was it? Either the algorithms of the supposedly omniscient life chain don't work, or they have been hacked. Both scenarios are impossible to imagine and signal the end of Beatles' technopia and life as we know it. I think I, I think this book has also got a lot of humor in it, um, but it also is going to tackle a very interesting, almost relevant topic, right? And so that is Zed by Joanna. I am really struggling with Joanna's last name. Kevin, Kavina, Kavina, Joanna Kavina, out from Doubleday today, January 14th. You can get your hands on all of these people. One of the books that I am absolutely most excited, and I was going to read this over my break, but reading sort of took a bit of a halt, uh, halt for me, is Cleanness by Garth Greenwell. Um, I started this book right before the holidays, and this man can write a sentence. This is the story of, it sort of follows in sort of, um, theme to his uh, debut novel that was very, very successful. What Belongs to Me? Is that what it's called? Uh, what Belongs to You? I got the wrong uh, pronoun there at the end. But we're back in Bulgaria and we are in this city and it says, in this atmosphere of disquiet, an American teacher navigates a life transformed by the discovery of loss and love. As he prepares to leave the place he's come to call home, he grapples with intimate encounters that have marked his years abroad, each bearing uncanny reminders of his past. And it has a lot, there's a lot of queer representation. I hear this book has a, um, a bit of um, uh, sexuality to it and it tackles masculinity and sexuality. And I've heard nothing but phenomenal things about this book and I am so excited and that is Cleanness by Garth Greenwell this is now out by FSG I gotta say a big thank you to them FSG sends me a um, hard copy cover of all of the preview proofs that they always send me um, and I always really really appreciate it so that one is very soon up on my TBR because I have um, wanted to read it so bad the next comes from Soft Skull Press and that is Imaginary Museums by Nicolette Pollack I'm going to hold that up there. I really love this cover too. This is actually a collection of very short stories that deal with people and their longing for homes, family, and also even sort of a religious sense of loss, searches for God. Um, it's very hard for me to summarize short story collections for you guys, um, but I think those themes are important and I just absolutely love this cover. And so I want to say thank you to Soft Skull Press and for sending me Imaginary Museums by Nicolette Pollock, and I highly recommend you guys is getting your little hands on it. Okay. One book that I am so excited to read is Saltwater by Jessica Andrews. This is also out by FSG. And this book, I believe, is also already out in the UK. So you may be able to get it. And it is a debut novel um, by Jessica. And this is the story of Lucy. Lucy is a young woman who has a very intricate and complicated relationship with her mother. Um, she winds up going away to college and is trying to sort of extricate herself from her mother and the shadow of her mother. Um, and unfortunately, her father passes away. She winds up, I think as it says here, um, she winds up going, uh, her father goes missing. And then when her grandfather dies, she escapes to his tiny house, a place where her mother one found, once found happiness. And she sort of discovers or uses the same place that her mom found happiness sort of discover who she is as a person. So that's Saltwater by Jessica Andrews out from FSG. This is out today. I think a lot of you are going to like that book. So I think that you guys should definitely get that one on your TBR. 
Clearly, I think you should get all of these on your TBR, but you know, who am I? The next is one of the Book Expo America 2019 buzz books of the event. And this is a nonfiction book called Uncanny Valley, a memoir by Anna Weiner. Weiner. And this is out from FSG MCD. Um, and this is a book about the Silicon Valley. It's a book, uh, a woman's point of a woman's point of view. Um, it's her point of view of being a woman in the startup culture of Silicon Valley. That makes much more sense and sounds much more eloquent than the way that started. Um, and I've heard nothing but rave reviews about this. I actually am waiting for this one to come out because I think I'm going to do this as an audiobook. I just feel that it has that sensibility to me, um, but I am really excited about it. So this is Uncanny Valley, a memoir by Anna Weiner, and this is out from FSG MCD. So get your hands on that if you're looking for a very interesting memoir to start 2020. Okay, the last two books that I have sitting here, um, A Good Man by Annie Katz. This is out from Penguin. This is about Thomas Martin. He has sort of this perfect life. He has a devoted family man, a great job. He's very dedicated to his, um, I think it says here, his beautiful wife and his daughter. He's a devoted son and brother. And then something happens and his fragile ego is rocked. After uh, committing a horrific deed that he can never undo, Thomas grapples with his sense of self. Sometimes he casts himself as a victim, and other times as a monster. All he ever did was try to be a good man, but maybe if he tells his version of the story, he might uncover how and why things unraveled so horribly. So I think that sounds really good. I don't know how I feel about this cover, though. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the final cover, but I think the story sounds really interesting. A Good Man by Annie Katz, and that's out from Penguin. Thank you so much, Penguin. Last but not least, let's throw a little bit of a dystopian, a book I have mentioned a couple times on my channel, and that is A Beginning at the End by Michael Chen. This is coming out from Mira Books today, January 14th. Set in San Francisco, this is a dystopian novel. The world has suffered through, I believe it is a pan global pandemic, yes, and the survivors, cy the goodness gracious, the survivors are rebuilding self a split between self-governing cities, hippie communes, and wasteland gangs. There are three different perspectives in this book, three different people um, that we get the perspective of, um, and sort of how those stories all come together. Um, and I think it sounds excellent. Again, this may be one, I feel it's almost cinematic. And sometimes when I feel a book is going to be cinematic, I always go to the audiobook. When someone else reads it to me, I can sometimes create a movie in my mind but I'm really excited about this. So that is a beginning at the end by Mike Chin out from Mira Books. And you can get all of these ones that I just talked about. Let me get this up here real quick. All of these are out today, January 14th. So as always, if you are a return subscriber to my channel, thank you so very, very much. I could not do this without you. If you are new to my channel and this is your first video, I hope you liked it. I hope you come back, you subscribe, and you uh, come see me some more. As always, I encourage you to shop locally, read globally, and until next time, I wish you happy reading. Bye!